Welcome to Humanities 151, Introduction to the Humanities for the Fall Semester. This course is eight weeks long. I hope you're in the right place. I wanted to give you a quick walkthrough of some things that we're going to see, some things that you're going to review. Um, all of them are accessible through our Canvas site, which is where we're starting. Now, typically, if we were face-to-face, -face, we would be discussing this on the very first day of class. Since that is not the case, I wanted to walk you through Canvas. Uh, every instructor's Canvas course is set up a little bit differently, so it's always nice to have that uh, show and tell, so to speak. All right, this first page that I'm currently on is the home page. Every week this does change, depending on what we're studying, the information we're seeing, uh, some images that you might be familiar with or not familiar with will appear here. The very first thing that you're seeing this week is a quote from Jan Martel, uh, a copy of the front cover of our textbook, and a world map just as a reminder of what it looks like. Uh, from here, you can navigate to a couple places. The top few are the ones you're going to use the most. Uh, syllabus is where we're going to go next. If you get in here and you wanted to click on that, that will link you over to the actual syllabus couple things I want to point out to you. I'm always accessible via email or through the Canvas messaging inbox. Please send me a message if you have any questions whatsoever. I will get back to you. Uh, my goal is usually within 24 hours, if not much, much sooner. Uh, here is my office phone number. Please just kind of keep in mind the time. Uh, but if you leave me a message or send me a text, I will get back to you. If you need an office appointment, uh, please send me an email or a text or leave me a message and we can set up an appointment to discuss anything. Uh, the course format, specifically everything in this course is delivered online via Canvas. The syllabus, the grades, all the material, everything is online. Uh, you can read through much of this on your own. A couple things I wanted to point out. The textbook. The textbook is called Reality Through the Arts by Dennis J. Spohr. It is up to you which version you get, whether it be the 7th edition or the 8th edition. Either is perfectly acceptable. There are minor, minor changes between the two editions. Um, I own both the 7th and the 8th, and the changes are sm so small you wouldn't even notice. So whichever is easier for you, whichever is the least expensive option, is which I encourage you to take part of. Uh, that's the only required text for this course. Um, please know that obviously this is a web-based course, so internet is required, uh, so that way you can regularly check Canvas. This is also an eight-week course as opposed to a 16-week course, so that doesn't mean the information is less than, it just means that we fit 16 weeks into eight weeks, so it is an intensive course. Uh, every week there are readings from the textbook. These are not optional. That's what the quizzes are based on, so it is important to read the material. I cannot stress that enough. You will be successful in the course if you read what I assign you. Um, the assignments. There are six quizzes, one each week, essentially. Um, one very brief writing assignment, which I will introduce after the midterm. Uh, every week there is a discussion board. There is a midterm exam and a final exam. Everything is available to you Monday morning, starting at midnight. So Monday through 11.59 on Sunday is what our week consists of. And I publish everything at the beginning of the week. So you have an entire week to kind of plan ahead for everything. That being so, I don't accept late work. You can kind of see when we get down to the bottom here of what is upcoming each week. So you'll be able to plan ahead a little bit. Um, but again, no late work. Um, we're just going to scan through these kind of quickly here. Uh, it's important, because we're in an eight-week course, to complete your material. Uh, you have two weeks of material to complete to meet the attendance policy, so make sure you're doing all of that. Midterm grades are supported, uh, I'm sorry, are reported the week of September 17th. That's coming. Uh, if you do have to withdraw from the course, I do not withdraw you myself. If you do have to withdraw, the last date for that is October 2nd. Um, Again, there's a lot of information in here. Feel free to go through and scan for your own. 
information purposes. As you get down here, it says preliminary course schedule. You can kind of see what we're reading each week. So if you wanted to get a head start on the reading material, um, the discussion boards, the quizzes won't be available until Monday at midnight, but you can always look ahead to see what is coming if you're sort of plotting and planning for your life. There you go. As I said, the 7th or 8th edition of the text is fine. This is a copy of the 7th edition. Again, perfectly acceptable. This is a copy of the 8th. Um, again, I, I try not to give page numbers only because the, the page numbers slightly vary between the two editions, um, but the chapters remain completely the same. Hopping back over to Canvas, um, everything will be in modules. Everything flows from modules. So that is the place to start. So you log in, if you go straight to modules, you'll see what everything is. And I've tried to lay it out so that way you can easily follow it. Uh, this guide will be available. I will email that out very, very soon. Um, but things to review for the first week specifically, you want to review the syllabus. Again, you want to go through and read that on your own. Uh, you want to read every week. I will provide you um, some lecture notes and a chapter outline of each chapter that we're working on. I also include links to some of the pieces of art um, and some views of the humanities, so it's not just the textbook you're always dealing with. Uh, the week one reading usually breaks down. In this case, it's going to break down that we're looking at uh, chapters one and two this first week. Um, and then things to do. So these are the deliverables that you have at the end of the week. So this week we have three. Uh, your introduction post, this is just the very basic, generic, please say hi, uh, but make sure to read that prompt because I threw in a question. Uh, the first discussion board in there uh, pertains to chapters 1 and 2, and then a quiz, again, about chapters 1 and 2. If you didn't want to, you can click anywhere on that modules page, but if you didn't want to, you could, you could always go over here to discussions, same thing with quizzes. You can see what's in there and when it's available. The assignments, it's going to show you the same thing as modules. Here are your upcoming assignments with the due dates. Um, now notice uh, the, the due dates are on here. Even though it says available until, that just means that I turned it off at a certain time, but note the due dates. Grades, this is individual to each of you, so you can always check this. Uh, Canvas is great because it does everything real time, so as I'm grading things or as you're completing a quiz, uh, you'll get your grades automatically. The only thing that doesn't update are the discussion boards because I have to grade those myself, um, but I try to have grades back to you within seven days. Files, anything that I upload in here you'll be able to find at any time, so the syllabus, the lecture notes, if you didn't want to go back through modules to find anything. Uh, you can access it through here. That is it. That is it. If you have any questions or need any sort of guidance, feel free to reach out to me. You can reach me via Canvas inbox, uh, my LCCC email, the phone number on the syllabus. You can either leave me a message or send me a text. Either way, I'll get back to you within 24 hours. Again, much, much sooner than that. Um, but my goal is always 24 hours. Let's have a great semester, and I'll see you on the discussion boards.